While at the current state, AI and machine learning cannot replace with creative capability to, you know, to link the dots together in a really meaningful way for humans. If you're a UI designer or a product designer who works with fonts and pairing them, this next tool is for you. If you have been following Design Tool Tuesday, you know how excited I am about machine learning and AI and especially to do with automating some of the design tasks. Font pairing in design is a classic problem for everyone because you need to employ a good sense of kind of the technical aspects of a typeface, but also know how to creatively use typefaces which you might not use in any other scenario because you know it could be a client which comes with their branding guidelines and is something crazy as you can see in this case this tool just allows you to auto generate different font pairings by click of a button and i just regenerated it for example the contrast between the fonts like so as you can see it's much more sans serif type and here you have a serif and if i would play down to the similarities just to find more similar fonts which is a safer avenue let's say then we get a lot of sans serif sans serif sans serif and they're very similar and this tool is in development so of course you cannot expect it to be magical and now just to explore a little bit and let me tell you exactly what was impressive for me because besides the slider which is quite ambiguous and you know the ux of it could be improved of course which is quite meta but if i would just say just generate something in the middle which is a balanced contrast between the two as, as you can see this is quite wild option which i probably wouldn't use normally but it goes quite well together now the tool itself gives you three options which is basically a body text Text, Rancho and Amaranth. You're able basically to then pick one we like. For example, Junj or Jung is pretty good body text and I like it so I can lock it in a tool and then just regenerate other pairings for the same font just like that. And maybe let's go a bit higher contrast so you can see exactly what's happening. If I regenerate, boom, that's pretty good. As you can see, there is this Milter and there is Fire Sans Condensed. I like the Fire Sans and I like combo of that body text. So I'm just gonna lock both of those and regenerate again. See now it keeps on regenerating the sub headline. And let's see if I can find something like this looks pretty good. I would probably play with a size. These three different typefaces look pretty good together. Of course you can play with it and you can yourself, for example, if I just unlink and just look for it, you can search for a specific font. For example, if you use something like Roboto, which is Android common font, and I would select Roboto 900, it is a bold headline, very legible, lock it and regenerate again. If I would just take a screenshot of that and send it to, let's say, one of my UI designers and say something, I want something like this in my next website design or something like that, the teammate could come up with it. Or yourself as a designer, you can then go and explore. And now you might ask, how does it work? And so this tool comes with some explanation of how it matches different fonts. As you can see, this is a visualization of the actual algorithm. If you match the same looking fonts, they could be quite a good match. For example, if I take Roboto and Helvetica, they're very similar and the same applies, for example, Arial and Helvetica. You could go with that, but in the end, it becomes a very safe option because we share the weight, we share the kerning. There's a lot of different permeations from one to the other because they're both very equally used. But a combination of the two would be quite bland, right? And so this tool summarizes on different axes. There are four different dimensions here and it matches not just by you know how similar we are but also tries to throw in some of the you know unique assets so it, it would kind of like a mix and match depending on which which acts you are in and as you can see i selected just one font goblin one regular and then it shows me the nearest points in the original space and how close they are to that some of these scores are calculated purely from machine learning. So it matches different fonts based off of, you know, different choices, everything which you could quantify otherwise. This is way too complex for myself, for example. You don't have to be part of it to appreciate it though. And so tools like that give you an option to creatively solve your problems because it does the hard work for you and you can make a decision afterwards. You know, machine learning and AI is the best when it supports human decisions like yourself, for example, as a designer, because you don't have to, you know, spend hours. You can allow the hard work of matching different fonts 
and actually throwing in some surprise based off the data points and, and variants, for example, in the data to surprise you and give you an option which you might not otherwise try by yourself. So now that you know the heavy lifting the tool does behind the scenes, now you can appreciate it just a little bit more, right? I would recommend you to explore it, try it out, try to see if, you, if it can help you in the next challenge. For example, if you're working on a new product or practicing your UI skills, making an app or a prototype, Try to play with this and try to see if it actually in the UI design in a sketch, if you apply it, makes sense and see if there is potential to this. As per usual, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe to this channel, stay tuned for more material, check other videos, and I'll see you next time.